disposal. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to teach you highway engineering introduction, importance of highway engineering, function of IRC, CRRI, MORT, and H NHAI, classification of roads, mass transportation system, and concepts of smart highways. Modes of transportation, highways, railways, waterways, airways. What is roadway? When the transportation is done by road is known as roadways. Types of roadways. On the basis of their location and function, roadways are classified. National highway, state highway, major district road, other district road, village roads, expressway. What is national highway? When the two nations are at with the help of highways, state highway, when the two states are added, what is the difference between state and national? When we share cultures, that is called national. And when it, the area is defined by the boundary, then it's called a state, major district. When the big cities are connected with the highways, other district, when the small cities are connected with la, big cities, with the help of highway, village road, Expressway. Expressway is the shortest distance between two cities, or uh, or you can say there are two, uh, two different locations which are very important. Highway engineering or road engineering deals with the planning, design, construction, and maintenance of roads on highway facilities to cater to the needs of highway traffic and for smooth transportation. Importance of highways engineering. It gives the maximum service to one and all. It gives maximum flexibility for travel with reference to route, direction, time, and speed of travel. It provides door-to-door -door service. Other modes are dependent on it. It requires a small investment for the government as comparatively to the railway. Motor highway vehicles are cheaper than the other carriers like rail locomotives. At the instance of the central government, a semi-official technical body known as Indian Road Congress was formed in 1934. It was main recommendation made by Jekyll Committee. IRC, a body of professional highway engineers, provide the following service. It provides a forum for the expression of the collective opinion of its member for all matters affecting the construction and maintenance of roads in India. It promotes the use of standard specification and practices. It provided with the suggestion for the better methods of planning, designing, construction, administration, and maintenance of roads. It conducts periodical meetings to discuss technical problems regarding roads. It makes the law for the development, improvement, and protection of the road. It furnishes and maintains lib libraries and museums for increasing the science of road making. Function of Central Road Research Institute, CRRI. CRRI was started by the central government in 1950 for the research work in highway engineering. CRI is a series of laboratories under the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research in India. It offered the following services. First, carries basic and applied research for the design, construction, and maintenance of the highways. Carries research on traffic safety and in transport economics. Carries research on economical utilization of locally available materials for construction and maintenance of roads. Research for the development of the new machinery, tools, equipments, and instruments for highway engineering to provide technical advice and consultancy services to various organizations to provide library and documentation services. Ministry of Road Transport and Highway. Planning, first planning, development, and maintenance of national highways in the country. Extend technical and financial support to state governments for the development of state roads and the roads of interstate connectivity and economic importance. Evolves standard specification for roads and bridges in the country. It is stored the data related to technical knowledge on roads and bridges. Function of NHAI, National Highway Authority of India. To develop, maintain, and manage, manage National Highway vested it in 
by the government to collect fees on national highways regulates and control the flying of vehicles on national highway from for its poor management to develop and provide consultancy and construction service in india and abroad and carry on research activities in relation to the development maintenance and management of highway or any other facilities there at to advise the central government on matter relating to highways to assist on such terms and conditions as may be mutually mutually agreed upon any state government in the formulation and implementation of a scheme for highway development construct offices or workshops and establish and maintain hotels restaurants and rest room or at or near the highways construct residential building and township for its employees last providing facilities and amenities for the uses of highway necessary for the smooth flow of traffic on such highways the classifications of road in india the roads are classified on different types so in india the roads are mainly classified based upon the different area in the country the classification of road in india as follow road classification based on following factors material earthen road gravel road moran road concrete road wbm road bituminous road concrete road location and function national highway state highway district highway rural roads traffic volume light traffic medium traffic high traffic economy low cost road medium cost road high cost road traffic type pedestrian type cycle type motorways visibility flexible road rigid road topography plain roads and highway hilly roads now what is mass transportation system mass transportation is any kind of transportation system in which large number of people are carried within a single vehicles or combination of vehicles aeroplanes railways buses trolleys light rail system and subways are example of mass transportation system advantage of mass transportation system mass transit reduces the number of cars on the road which is turn reduces the pollution caused by individual cars all members of the society irrespective of their financial status are able to travel which enhances the social integrity of the country mass transit systems are also more environment friendly than automobiles for example a single bus filled with 80 people uses only slightly more fuel than a private automobile for use for single person the advantages of mass transportation system the desirable features of mass transit system are balanced by a number of serious drawback in the first place such systems are economically feasible only in areas that have relatively large populations as the number of inhabitants per square mile decreases the efficiency of a mass transportation system also decreases mass transit system are also very expensive to build and operate people complain about mass transportation systems also because they can be crowded uncomfortable dirty and unreliable concept of a smart highway a smart highway and a smart road are terms for the number of different ways technologies are incorporated into roads for improving the operation of the connected and autonomous vehicles cavs for traffic lights and street lighting and for monitoring the condition of the road traffic levels and the speed of the vehicles concept of smart highway includes intelligent transportation system intelligent transportation system usually refer to the use of information and communication technologies rather than innovation in the construction of the roadway in the field of road transport including infrastructure vehicles and user and in traffic management and mobility management as well as the interfaces with other mode of transport vehicle infrastructure integration is an initiative for string research and applications and development for a series of technologies directly linked linking road vehicles to their physical surrounding first and foremost in order to improve road safety structural health monitoring structural health monitoring involves the observation and analysis of a system over time using periodically sampled response measurements to 
monitor changes to the material and geometric properties of engineering structure such as bridge and the building. Solar load panel. The principal idea of solar road panel is to utilize the space occupied by the road to generate electricity via photovoltaic panels installed in place of a conventional concrete or asphalt road surface. Unit 2. Road geometries. Highway geometric. This is a branch of the National Highway Engineering which is developed with the geometrical elements of the road like land of width, Formation width, carriage width, slopes, side slopes, shoulders, curves, side distance, super elevation, and highway curves. Cross section elements of road, right of way. The right of way is the total land area acquired for the construction of the roadway. If width could be enough to accommodate all the elements of the roadway cross section, any further widening of the road and any public utility facility that will be installed along the roadway right of way is the area of the road acquired for carriageway plus other necessity plus future extension along its alignment now you can see the diagram of a roadway from one shoulder and to the opposite side of the shoulder the total length is known as the road of way pw is the carriageway where you can see that the upper part, which is called the camber. This is a shoulder where when the uh, emergency, in emergency where the vehicle have to be stopped. The formation way. Formation way is, is equal to, road of way is equal to formation way plus road margin on the both side. Generally, in India, 45 meter right of way is acquired for construction of four lane road. A typically residential street has a right of way width of approximately 60 feet. Factor affecting right of way width of formation, side slope, drainage system, side distances, consideration on horizontal curves, future extension. Formation width. Formation width of the width of formation or roadway width is the sum of width of pavement or carriageway, including separators and shoulders. This should not include the extra land in formation and cutting. Road margin. The portion of road beyond carriageway, pavement, and on the roadway can be generally called road margin. When we talk about a single lane, then the its length uh, is 3.8 meter is width is 3.8 meter 2.44 plus 0.6 meter along its sides shoulder what is shoulder the shoulder are provided along the road edge and is instead for accommodation of a stopped vehicle serves as an emergency lane for vehicle and provide lateral support for base and sub base code the shoulder should be strong enough to bear the weight of fully loaded truck even in wet conditions. It is desirable to have a width of 4.6 meter for shoulders. It provides a means of protecting the highway surface from the intrusion of the water, one of the great destroyers of our highway. It serves as a safety feature by providing the fuzzy rooms of the highway pavement surface for disabled vehicle and in emergency for vehicle to avoid head-on collision by oncoming vehicles out of control. It provides a partial storage area for snow, which we must remove from the pavement to provide the traveling public with an easy way. And also, it consumes less time. Shoulders. The portion of a roadway between the outer edge of the carriageway and the edge of the top surface of the embankment or inner edge of the side road in cutting of the roads are called shoulders. Carriageway. It is the width of the road which is used by the traffic for moving on it. It is generally central portion of the road land width and is paved and surfaced with the bituminous concrete for service of the road users. Width of the carriageway depends on the number of the lanes in the road which again depends on the class of the highway. If it is a higher level road like NH 
which is called national highway then it will need more number of lanes and therefore the carriage way width will be more the specification of carriage way width single lane 3.75 two lanes no curve 7 meter two lanes raised curve 7.5 intermediate width 5.5 multi lane 3.5 camber is the transverse slope provided to the road surface for the drainage of the rainwater for better performance of the road. Camber can be written as 1 in x or x percentage. It mainly denoted in the form of slope. Drainage of the rainwater is necessary to maintain the safe value of the friction between the road surface and the tires. To retain the strength and durability of the surface concrete, to maintain the durability and strength of the substrate soils, which can be harmed if the infiltration of the water takes place to it. There are generally three types of camber, straight camber, parabolic camber, and mixed camber. Here you can see that, see, the parabolic camber have the formula of y is equal to 3x square upon n w. Here the slope is 1 in n. Straight line camber, it is like a uh, triangular shape. Here, the formula is W upon 2N. Combination, or you can say mixed camber, straight, then parabola, parabola, and then straight. Straight camber, this type of camber is really by meet to sur straight surface at the crown. Crown is the center and topmost point on the surface of the road. The edge shape produces inconvenience to the surface, which is not used in general. Parabolic camber is provided by providing a parabolic shape to the surface of the road. It is not also not used in general because it has a steep slope or toward the edge, which can create the outward thrust to the vehicle. Mixed camber is formed by use of the straight curve at the edge, but the parabolic surface at the center. It is mostly used for road construction because more the problems of the earlier two are solved if we use this camber. The value of the camber recommended by IRC for different types of road surface are given below. Type of road surface, same camber and heavy rainfall. It is different for road rainfall, it is different. Cement, concrete and thick bituminous surface, 1 in 50 or 2%. Low rainfall, 1 in 60 or 1.7 percent. Thin bituminous surface, 1 in 40 or 2.5 percent. 1 in 50 or 2 percent. Water bound back macadam and gravel pavement, 1 in 33 or 3 percent. 1 in 40 or 2.5 percent. Earth road, 1 in 25 or 4 percent. Low rainfall, low rainfall, 1 in 33 or 3 percent. Gradient. Gradient is the rise or fall along the length of the road with respect to the horizontal. It is expressed as the low ratio 1 in x, 1 vertical into x general uh, horizontal units. This is a type of a slope which we give it along the road for drainage purpose. It is a slope provided to the surface of the road in the longitudinal direction for the vertical alignment of the road. There are four kinds of gradient, ruling gradient, Limiting gradient, exceptional gradient, and minimum gradient. The ruling gradient. It, it is ruling gradient is the design gradient, so it is used to design the road on the vertical alignment. Limiting and exception gradient are provided in the limited stretch of the roads where necessary and in case of emergency or exceptional cases. When such needs arises respectively, the minimum gradient is the gradient which is required as the minimum from the drainage point of view in case of the plain area. What is curves? Curves indicate the boundary between the carriageway and the shoulders or island or footpath. Lower mountainable curves. This is also known as class 1 curves. It is principal role is to control traffic to stay within its own lane. As the height of this curve form a curve is low, it facilitates the driver to enter the area of the shoulder with less difficulty. Low speed barrier barriers or urban parking curve. This is also known as class second curve. It prevents encroachment of slow speed or parking vehicle to the footpath. However, the severe emergency vehicle, they can climb and be parked on footpath or shoulder. 
high speed barrier curve it is also known as a class 3 curve it is usually used in critical places such as a bridge or mountains roads this type of curve are 230 to 450 mm or more in height so most curves so most curves are provided in rural area at the pavement edges between its and shoulder it is provided in the form of standing brick or concrete blocks use of road curves curves are provided for the following purpose this prevent the vehicle from parking besides the road it act as the boundary between the pavement and footpath curve provide a structure support for the pavement it help to overcome slipping risk of the vehicle it help to reduce the number of accident it also used for drainage purpose the curve is provided along the footpath of the road necessity of the curve straight route of the road or track is always desirable since it provide economic in construction transportation and maintenance in the straight road costly land comes in the way that it can avoided by provided diversion with the help of curve need of providing curves curves are needed on highway railway and canal for bringing about gradual change of direction of motion they are provided for following reason to bring about gradual change in direction of motion to bring about gradual change in grit and for good visibility horizontal curve the curve provided in the horizontal plane of earth is called as horizontal curve in connect two straight line which are in same level but have different direction a horizontal curve the curve is to plan to provide changes in direction to the front of the line of road horizontal curve are of different types as follow simple circular curve compound curve reverse curve transition curve this is called the horizontal curve simple circular curve what simple circular simple curve curve is normal horizontal curve which connect two straight line with constant radius two straight line with constant radius compound curve compound curve is a combination of two or more simple circular curve with different radii in this case both of all the curves lie on the same side of the common tangent reverse curve reverse curve is formed when two simple circular curves bending in opposite direction are meet at a point this point are called as point on reverse curvature the center of both the curves lie on the opposite side of the common tangent the radii of both the curves are may be same or different transition curve a curve of variable radius is termed as transition curve transition curve is a curve in plan which is provided to change the horizontal alignment from straight to circular curve gradually means and the radius of transition curve varies between infinity to definite and its radius varies from infinity to the definite radius of right provided for a circular curve objective of providing transition curve for the gradual introduction center focus was to avoid sudden jerk on record to introduce super elevation gradually to introduce extra winding gradually to provide comfort for the road for sorry comfort for the driver and is enable to smooth vehicle operation on the road Here you can see the see the transition path where r is the starting for infinity and it goes to the critical after critical we can not reduce it straight curve transition curve and the circular curve is provided the middle and the fit transition curve and a straight curve type of transition curve spiral or clotoid to big parabola lemmis gate <coughs> sorry the vertical curve the curve is a vertical alignment which is produced when two different gradient meet is known as vertical curve gradient is the rise or fall along the length of the road with respect to the horizontal vertical curve are used in highway and street vertical alignment to provide a gradual change between two edges in grid line it is provided for comfort appearance and security and visibility of the driver 
size of vertical curve depending upon the shape of profile a vertical curve may be divided into summit curve crest curve with convexity upward when two blade meet at the summit and the curve will have convexity upward the curve is simply referred as summit curve valley curve when two blade meet at the valley sag and the curve will have concavity upward then the curve is referred as valley curve valley summit curve summit curve are those curves who have convexity upward they are formed under the following condition when a positive gradient meet at another positive gradient when a positive gradient meet a level zero when a positive gradient meet with a negative gradient when a negative gradient meet another negative gradient valley vertical valley curve valley curves are those curves which have convexity when they are formed under for different condition when a negative gradient meet another mild negative gradient when a negative gradient meets a level zero gradient when a negative gradient meet with a positive gradient when a positive gradient meet another positive steeper positive gradient super elevation super elevation is the transfer slope provided by raising the pavement outer edge with respect to inner edge super elevation is represented by e super elevation is also known as cant or banking cant or banking super elevation is expressed as the height of the outer edge of the pavement with respect to the width of the pavement purpose importance of providing super elevation is that the main aim of providing super elevation is to counteract the effect of centrifugal force acting on the moving vehicle to provide the damaging effect on the surface of the vehicle due to improper distribution of the loads on the road to help the fast moving vehicle to pass through a curved path without overturning or skidding reduce the tendency of vehicle to overturn and to skid laterally outward to reduce the maintenance cost of the road on the curved portion to ensure the smooth and safe movement of the vehicle and passenger on the curved portions of the roads mainly the super elevation is denoted by tan theta tan theta is equal to perpendicular upon base super elevation formula e plus f is equal to v square upon g r E is the rate of super elevation percentage. F is lateral friction factor, which is equal to zero point one five v velocity of vehicle in meter per second g. Acceleration due to gravity nine point eight one meter per second square r. Radius of circular curves in meter. If velocity is in kilometer per hour, then E plus F is equal to v square upon one twenty seven r. Limit for maximum super elevation. The maximum allowable limit of super elevation is called maximum super elevation. According to IRC, the maximum super elevation for flat and rolling terrain ten percent, for hilly terrain ten percent, for urban four percent. Limit for minimum slope super elevation. The lower limit of super elevation equal to the amount of camber is termed as minimum super elevation. So minimum super elevation is equal to camber or cross slope. IRC recommendation for camber, CC pavement, and to thick bituminous pavement. Light for light rain for intensity, intensity, one in sixty. High wind rain for heavy rain for one in fifty. Thin bituminous pavement one in fifty. Heavy rain for one in forty. WBM and gravel pavement one in forty. Heavy rain for one in thirty-three. Earthen pavement one in thirty-three. Have for heavy rain for one in twenty-five. Method of providing super elevation to the road attainment of the super elevation. Super elevation play an important role in counteract the centrifugal force, which is acting on the vehicle from moving from the horizontal curve of the road. The attainment of super elevation in road is done in two parts: elimination, elimination of the crown of the cambered section, and the rotation of the pavement by attain in full elevation. Thank you, everyone. Now I stop this.